Welcome back to Vlaplix. Today I have good news and great news. Well, first of all, we're about to make delicious cocktails with absinthe that you can make tonight at home. And we have the biggest giveaway ever on this channel. My friends from Flavor Blaster reached out to me and said that they can give full kit, which includes blaster, coils, flavors, bubbles, more than $400 value to one of my subscribers, to you. Let's show some love to Flavor Blaster. And if you want to win this kit, you need to do first. Leave a comment below in what cocktail or spirit you would use this gun. Uh, make sure to leave your Instagram name so we can find you if you win it. Second, follow Flavor Blaster on their Instagram and leave the same on different comment under this specific giveaway post. Pretty clear, right? We will choose one winner and they will ship to your bar or home anywhere around the world. So let's go. Absinthe is distilled with herbs including green anise, wormwood, fennel and other botanicals. It's slightly sweet and very strong spirit, but if you serve it proper way it's not that strong and it is like any other cocktails we drink every day. Well, but try to avoid shooting it straight up. <laughs> when it's distilled it's colorless, but green anise and botanicals makes it green. First we're going to make Moscow Mule, but with absinthe or should I say a French Mule. Always use fresh ingredients, so we need half ounce of lime juice. I'm going to use squeezer and measuring cup, but you don't have to since we all know each lime have about one ounce of juice anyway. Chilled highball glass. Usually most of our mules have about one and a half ounces of alcohol, but since this absinthe is 68% ABV, I would recommend to go with only one ounce. Fill up all the way to the top with ice. I'm using light ginger beer, but don't be surprised when you taste it for the first time. This combination of anise and ginger give you a really strong flavor kick, so if you're not ready for it, try mixing with the ginger ale instead. Lightly stir all ingredients with a spoon. I'm going to add one cube of ice on top to make it a little bit prettier. It's totally okay to use fresh lime wheel as a garnish, but if you have laying around fresh ginger, just use it instead. Cut thin line with peeler, stick it with stainless steel pick and put it on top of the cocktail. And this is our Epsom meal. Just let me know in the comments, guys, if you would like to try this version or prefer to stick with the traditional Moscow meal. Next, I'm going to make probably the easiest cocktail with Epsom. It will be Epsom frappe, but uh, we'll make it frozen since it's so freaking hot outside. Put in a blender one and a half ounces of Epsom three quarters of an ounce simple syrup take ice from your refrigerator put about 10 small cubes and blend it it was a little watery so i added a few more ice cubes and it became a perfect slushy frozen drink pour it in the chilled glass and you can garnish with fresh mint but that's not a traditional absent frappe so i will put a new start on top before you try this version make sure you experience the classic absent frappe with crushed ice mint and soda we need to shake our next cocktail and i'll be using my the most premium mason jar slash shaker <laughs> i wasn't going to pronounce this but is it swisses so we're going to make absinthe swisses hope my french friends will forgive me <laughs> okay one and a half ounce of absinthe then pour half ounce of almond syrup or j should be easiest to find one ounce of milk i'm pretty sure you're not made from plants like myself and have regular milk at home well this one didn't come from plants so we need one ounce of fresh cream also in a classic recipe there is one egg white i use egg topper but sure you guys can make it work with kitchen knife right since i'm using egg white and cream first i will do dry shake for like 10 15 seconds i will be serving it in a large rocks glass but first i need to adjust my large cube so i can fit it inside of course you don't have to do this at home and then just use regular ice from refrigerator yep that looks good to me let's clean this up and add fresh ice into our fancy shaker so we can chill it properly by shaking it for like at least 15 seconds or so you can strain it on top of the ice but it's a creamy cocktail so i will put this massive ice cube on top to keep it nice and clean i grow this organic mint on my yard so i can specifically make cocktails for you guys take a couple of pretty sprigs cut big part and stick them between ice and a glass rim this is a little extra step, but since we used almond syrup, we can add few almonds on top to make it not just uh, super delicious, but Instagrammable as well. <laughs> so far we used Epsom as our main base ingredient, but it could be used almost like beaters. And there are a lot of cocktails where you use one drop or only need to rinse a glass for significant herbal flavor. And Sazerac probably one of the most popular cocktails where you use just a tiny amount of absinthe. There are a few versions of Sazerac cocktail, but I will stick to the one that we already made on this channel in my video top 10 cocktails with alcohol only. And we used one spoon of simple syrup, three dashes of Peixo, two dashes of Angostura beaters, one ounce of rye whiskey, one ounce of cognac or brandy, Stir everything with ice and I prefer to use the mini perfume bottle to spray chilled glass a few times instead of rinsing 
then strain, garnish with lemon peel and drink it without ice. Let me know if you prefer to use absinthe as the main ingredient for your cocktails or just a tiny amount for flavor. If you prefer something totally opposite to this kind of classic cocktail, you can make a tasty, strong, layery shot. Absinthe perfectly laying on most of the spirits and now we will make MIA. Use regular sized shot glass. First layer will be Midori, second layer Irish cream and last layer pour absinthe from Jigger or measuring cup if you don't have a pour spout. It should be easier for you to put it this way if you haven't made many layer shots before and sometimes bartenders light up absinthe but I wouldn't recommend to do that. Another really exciting cocktail, especially for those who like champagne. Pour one ounce of absinthe into chilled champagne flute. Uh, well, this is of course the best case scenario at home. Uh, coupe or really anything works. I will be using of course 1959 Don Perignon. Pour slowly four and a half ounces which should be pretty much all the way to the top uh, depends on what glass you're using of course. Freshest mint from Maillard is back. You can put one leaf on top but I would recommend to choose the prettiest mint sprig like you choose the roses for your girlfriend. Pin it to the rim and don't drink too much of this. Well it won't be death in the afternoon but hangover in the morning might stop by to say hi. <laughs> pretty sure when you saw absent in the title you didn't see this coming but we actually going to to make exciting adult milkshake. We will use blender and put two large ice scoops of vanilla ice cream and absolutely not going to mention that I'm using almond milk based ice cream. I'm pouring one ounce of absinthe and one ounce and a quarter. Blend it until it's ready and add more ice cream if you like it thicker. I'm not going to pretend it smells so good but don't forget this milkshake has an ounce of absinthe in it. <laughs> Strain into chilled glass and I wanted to use vanilla bean first but then add a tiny amount of edible glitter and it became probably one of the best and prettiest milkshakes I ever made. If everything I showed so far is too much for you guys or you haven't tried absinthe before at all, you always can make and drink it traditional way. And it's an absinthe drip. For this serving, it's fun to use old vintage glassware, which actually looks expensive but cost almost nothing at the used restaurant supply store. Too fancy for you, no big deal, serve it in any glass you have in your kitchen. Place sugar cube onto a special spoon or if you didn't spend $70 on a souvenir or premium absinthe, and bottle like I did, you can just use julep strainer. You can use special fountain that goes from 50 to 200 dollars, but I'm pretty sure you prefer to pour cold water from separate glass and get another bottle of absinthe instead, right? Ratio is 1 to 5, so I will pour about 4 to 5 ounces of cold water and we'll do it really slowly to make sure that sugar is completely dissolved. When water is added, it reacts with anise and fennel oils and the absinthe becoming milky and cloudy, so don't freak out if you're making it for the first time. Before you drink it, stir with the same spoon and don't get too excited it won't give you hallucinogenic effect you probably heard of it just tastes great so enjoy i made also absent sour but still not sure if you guys like longer videos so please let me know in the comments how many minutes you prefer to watch and how many cocktails too huge thank you to all of you who participated in the previous giveaway and here are our bar set winners Please send your shipping address to my Instagram DM or our email. So never be afraid to make something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.